Because of the evacuation order? Lucky us. Station, We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. <laughs> You don't need no education. So Excuse me. Oh, never mind. Sorry to disturb you. Let's see if I can interact with him real quickly. Man, Should everyone's on edge. Three of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I um. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Yeesh. Make it easy. I'm excited to see the I want to hear his burdens. Wanted the train for Sector 2. Hey, got a second? My daughter now You're, lives uh, in Sector 8. Holding so... up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Why don't you learn to take wow. a hint, buddy? My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Yeah, heck is talking. This person with the stockings? I'll still be there? Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? <laughs> she just keeps saying it. Little help, Cloud, please. I'm I can't sure stop thinking about it. Two. The bomb I made shouldn't nah, have produced an explosion that happen. big. It doesn't make any sense. Should you be explosion talking about that right now? With the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. <sighs> no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. So, yeah. When someone doesn't talk. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! That is the Shinra Creed! <laughs> Them spiking words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Went off without a hitch, right, Barrett? <sighs> Trying to talk to him. Wear that suit, Shinra Creed, my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit, okay. Shinra Creed, my ass. <laughs> that guy had a rough day. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. 
Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <laughs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Tifa! Okay. Right, before we go there, it's kind of exploring. What are we even doing here? It's kind of a looking around. Soft drinks. I wish I could tell you, but sadly, I don't share your passion for <laughs> He's gonna have a wonderful morning. Yeah, I forgot we're underneath one of the plates. Avalanche. That sounds Some plate he's only had it so good because mm -hmm. I'd never seen anything like it before. It was completely insane. Yeah, well, shoes on the other one. It was like a giant candle oh, lighting up the whole up like sky. Mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? Nice. <laughs> you okay, buddy? <laughs> Seeing things there. <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. So 
I am seeing things. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Desi? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Huh. You're such a kidder. Here we are. Sector 7. Shields. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. <gasps> Arlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mongo place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh... think you're doing scaring my daughter like that daddy says never talk to strangers <sighs> that's right honey i do say that what a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons <laughs> you know what else good girls do they go to bed on time come on but i'm not tired i want to talk some more daddy mm, all right but just this once <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. Um, Daddy? Okay. Ooh, jukebox. Return to the planet? It's of course. Yep, the good old jukebox. Tifa theme. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? <laughs> sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Item shop. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. How'd that go? Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends so big news. It wasn't that bad. I thought reactors were it was. Safe. It was. Really oh, bad. Right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. 
You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. Sounds like someone had a mega incident. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Okay. This is our little apartment. Nothing too fancy, but it'll do. Mm 
<laughs> just kind of shakes his head and is like, uh, whatever. Ooh. Finders keepers. Phoenix down. Nope. Can't just go into her place. She'll kick my teeth in. Oh, that must be the owner. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. No. Oh. you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Your hair is like a chocobo tail. <laughs> Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. Okay. Nothing to report. What's gonna happen to Midgar? Mm. My husband decided to go to the state. Mm. Just imagine if rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the plate. Yeah, you won't have enough room. Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of Looks like you need some help, my dude. You can do it. Come on, dude. You can do it. Come on. Use your legs. Come on. You can oh, you can do it. Oh, there's a kitty cat. That's a really white kitty cat. Eggs and chips. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <clears throat> Let's get down to business, shall we? Her? These water filters won't replace themselves. <sighs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <clears throat> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? Uh, give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Uh, Please? Uh, let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Jeez, mm -hmm. Tifa. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference so after. Plenty of things. Don't take your eyes off me. Take your time now, okay? Loveless music. Some creepy dude. All the items you could want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget, our wide selection. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you. All right, to... all right. Just off limits. Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh... Since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Let's see. What can I buy? Let's see. Items. All. All. I'll buy that. Actually, I don't think you could. Okay, it's 50 gil, but I'll take that. Potions. Healing materia. Fire materia. Blizzard material and thunder. Do we have oh we got another deadly dodge and all that too. Hmm. Well we're good on that. We don't have any of those. How much a little bit. We'll get four of those. Um Cool. 
Guess I'll use the rest of it for... Well, hmm. Ah, we're good. Thanks! If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. Hey, hey! We'll see you Stop it! Okay? <laughs> and let us know when your filter next needs changing. Scratch your eyes out. All the items you could want straight from the plate. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please? Yes, ma'am. Can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. More than a little. Apparently it was done by a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? <laughs> Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got Ouch. skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Donkashern. Respond. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, game? give or take. Ow. Ain't they short -handed? But never Absolutely. mind that. But We've got to get you your money. Right. Last stop is the weapons store. Money. No kind of weapon shop. You here for the filter? <laughs> Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted-ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds, kind of backed off real quickly. Why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, would he actually do business? Be back with the rest. Before we open up tonight, it'll be a while yet. So, what do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. If you know, you know. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Okay. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you. Guess and your can't need. do business just yet. Maybe. Guess we'll find out. We mm -hmm. gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Guess we'll go in here. As the dudes. Didn't know you were 